An older woman is swimming with a young man in the pool, and she seems very happy with it. The couple is passionately kissing each other there. Suddenly, a younger woman spots her from a distance. She tells herself that she can't believe her grandma is doing that. She then decides to approach them. She calls her partner the young woman is surprised to hear her partner shout his name. He shouts back to his partner, saying that he's in the pool. He tells her that he's going and gets out of the swimming pool. The young man then approaches his partner and says that he loved the surprise she prepared for him. He thanks her for it. The partner tells him that the reason for that surprise is that she has something very, very important to tell him. The young man asks her to tell him because he's really curious about it. The woman then tells her partner that she's going to tell him soon. The young man says that she's incredible as always, giving him great surprises like that. Meanwhile, the old woman approaches from behind and starts to kiss the young man's shoulders. The young man then tries to convince his partner to give him the good news, but she refuses and says that she wants to wait for the right moment. The young man then suggests that they should walk around the house so he can tell her about the great day he had. The young man's partner says that she loves the black shorts he's wearing. Confused, thinking that his partner is still blind, he asks her why she knows it. The young woman says that. The partner says that she just knows that he loves black clothes. He says that he's very happy to hear that she knows it. He then invites her to walk around the house so he can tell her about his day. As the man is about to take his partner for a walk, the old woman slaps the young man's bottom. The young woman then claims that she heard a noise. She asks her partner about it. He says that she can just ignore it because it might be something that fell in the pool. Suddenly, the grandma decides to call them. She asks if she's interrupting them or something. The woman says that, of course, she's not and that she has something very important to tell them. The young man then tells his partner to stay there a bit longer to spend some time with her grandmother, and suggests that she can tell them the important thing. The woman refuses to reveal it and says that she's going to reveal it at the appropriate moment. As she's talking about what she thinks, the young man kisses his wife's grandmother in front of her. The woman doesn't look pleased about it. The young man then invites his partner to have a great time together that day. The woman then asks her grandmother why she's wet. She asks her if she was in the pool. The old woman says that she isn't wet at all. The young woman then says that it's fair enough and suggests that they start their big day together. The woman then remembers that she left her mobile phone behind. The young man says that he can follow her if she wants, so she can tell him about the important thing she needs to reveal. The young woman says that it's not really necessary. She says that they can stay there because she can get it herself. The grandmother asks if she's really sure about it because she can go with her as well if she wants. The granddaughter says that she can do it herself. She tells them to stay there so they can enjoy that beautiful moment. She tells them that she's not going to take too long. The young man asks if she's sure. She says she's fine, and she walks away, leaving the two of them behind. The young man looks confused about his partner's odd behavior, but he decides to just ignore it and carry on with his acts of indecency. Meanwhile, the young woman is very angry. She throws her white cane on the floor and walks inside to get her mobile phone. There, she says that she can't believe she's being forced to see such a disgusting thing, but she's going to record it anyway. Crying, she says that she's going to make the two ungrateful idiots pay for everything they're doing to her. She says that they will have to eventually pay for disrespecting her, who dedicated her life to them. She records their acts of indecency with her mobile phone. Meanwhile, the young man tells the cougar that he thinks it's best for them to stop because it might be too risky. The grandmother says that she doesn't really understand what that smelly cow is doing there and that she thought she was at university. The young man then starts to praise the old woman's appearance in an attempt to make her forget about their inconvenience. They carry on with their flirty conversation. The young man says that he's looking forward to a very pleasant evening with her. The cougar hugs him and says that he's very charming. Suddenly, the granddaughter calls her from a distance, interrupting their romantic moment. The young man suggests that it's best for them to answer the annoying granddaughter's call. They approach the young woman together. As they approach, the young woman tells her grandmother that she wants to hand her her credit card. The grandmother says that there's no need to hand the card back and that she gave it to her. The granddaughter says that she really appreciates the financial help she gave her in the past, but she believes it's time to hand it back to her. The grandmother then says that she understands. She looks back at her partner, smiling. The young woman then calls her partner, Juan. Juan then says that he's there. The young woman says that she didn't think he and her grandmother were that close. 
The young woman then tells Juan that she has a very important question for him. She asks if he's going to be really faithful to her as they're going to marry. Juan says that he doesn't understand her question. He says that it's normal to be afraid because it's a great commitment and sometimes he feels the same but that she has to trust him. The young woman says that she wanted to talk to him in private later. Juan says that it's normal to feel anxious and that he feels the same. Meanwhile, the grandmother kisses him. Juan then invites her to go with him to the pool so they can talk. As they are about to go to the pool, Juan realizes that he's getting a call from someone. He tells his partner that he will be back in a minute. He walks to a location in the house where he's alone. There, he picks it up. It's his other mistress. He asks if she's alright. The mistress says that she's definitely not because he was supposed to bring the money she asked for 30 minutes ago. Juan tells her on the phone that a lot of things are happening and that she needs to have some patience because he had to spend the whole day with the old woman. The mistress then expresses her disapproval of Juan spending his whole day with the old bat. Juan says that unfortunately, he had a lot of interruptions that day and that even the granddaughter arrived there unexpectedly. The mistress then tells Juan to be quick about it. Juan says that he will and that he needs to hang it up because the old woman is approaching. The old woman approaches to check on him. She says that she realized that he was nervous when he received the call. She says that she's already missing him. Juan says that, sadly, he had some problems he couldn't solve himself. The old woman then asks him what he needs from her. Juan says that he's concerned about a debt he has, but there's no need to worry about it because it's a lot of money. The old woman says that she can help him with anything. The young man tells her to just forget it because it's too much money and that he doesn't want to ask her that. The old woman says that he just needs to tell her how much he needs so she can make him a check. Juan says that he needs $10,000. The old woman kisses him and says that she can give him all the money she has. Juan asks if she's serious about that. The old woman says that, of course, she is because she can give him what he wants, as he's giving her everything she needs in life. Juan hugs her to express his gratitude. She kisses him. Juan then asks what they're going to do with the money. The old woman asks if he wants to go with her to the bank. Juan says that she's the one who decides it. She invites him to the bank, and they kiss very passionately. Later that day, Juan meets his mistress. Very happy, he hands over the money he got from the old woman. He tells his mistress that he has the money. She celebrates and says that they need a plan to take all the money from the old bat. Juan says that that would be hard. The mistress says that they only need some determination. Juan asks what she's talking about. The mistress says that he needs to take the old bat to bed. Juan asks if she's for real. The mistress says that there's nothing left to do. Juan says that it might give him access to the vault. He says that he knows for a fact that the old woman keeps everything in her vault and that if he goes to bed with her, he can wait for her to fall asleep and then he gets all the documents and they run away. He asks his mistress if that sounds like a good plan. She says that sounds perfect. She says that she has a very good solicitor ready to deal with the documents. Juan then tells his mistress to stick to their plan and to also be careful because they can be seen together. Juan wishes his mistress good luck and leaves. As he leaves, the mistress smiles and says that Juan is an utter idiot. She says that she's the one who's getting all the money. Days later, the grandmother serves her granddaughter her favorite dessert. The granddaughter thanks her and says that she really appreciates it. The grandmother then asks her granddaughter if she knows something about Juan because she hasn't had any news from him in weeks. The grandmother says that it's a shame and asks if she still loves him. The granddaughter says that, of course, she does. As her grandmother leaves, the granddaughter says that that's when she's going to teach them a very good lesson to show them the consequences of abusing her like that. Later that day, the grandmother meets Juan. Juan tells the old woman that the solicitor came to sort out the money stuff. The grandmother says that it sounds great to her. A woman and a man approach them. Juan introduces them as the solicitor and his cousin. The grandmother shakes their hands. The solicitor shows the old woman the document that proves that the money was deposited in the account by herself, and not someone else, so they can increase the interest when the money is in the account. He asks if she has any questions about it. The old woman asks if she can borrow a pen. Meanwhile, the granddaughter records everything with her mobile phone. The solicitor checks if he's carrying a pen. He finds it and hands it to the old woman. Meanwhile, the granddaughter says that they deserve it for everything they did to her. Meanwhile, the solicitor helps the old woman sign the papers. The grandmother signs every line and hands it to the solicitor. 
Juan laughs and tells the old woman that she just signed the contract that makes him the rightful owner of every property that once belonged to her. He laughs hysterically and says that now everything there legally belongs to him. The old woman, surprised, asks what he is talking about. Very angry, the old woman pushes him away and says that he's a stupid criminal. The mistress then calls her lover, Juan, to come closer to her. The solicitor says that it was a pleasure to meet them and that he loved the food and leaves. Meanwhile, the granddaughter tells herself that she's going to surprise everyone with the truth. The mistress asks the old woman if she truly believed that they were cousins, mocking the old woman. Suddenly, the granddaughter surprises them. Later, the grandmother is crying. Her granddaughter approaches and sits next to her. She asks her how she feels after making her suffer for ages. The old woman remains quiet, crying. Her granddaughter says that in life, everyone's going to have it back at some point. She says that she stabbed her only granddaughter, who always did everything she could to make her happy, with someone who looked so untrustworthy. She accuses her grandmother of being heartless for abusing her in front of her. The grandmother says that she knows what she did was really horrible and evil. She says that she knows God will never forgive her, but she's really sorry about it. She was so weak then that she thought that that young lad really loved her. The granddaughter asks how she could feel in love with someone who didn't love her. The old woman says that she was really stupid and that she never had real love in her life, so it never crossed her mind that he was trying to con her. The granddaughter asks how someone who was cheating herself would love someone who's so close to her. The grandmother says that it was really stupid of her to believe Juan when he claimed to love her. She asks why an old woman can't be happy. The granddaughter says that, of course, she can't be happy with her granddaughter's fiancé. The weeping grandmother says that she's really sorry about everything. The granddaughter says that they are disgusting. She said that she was really happy to announce to them that she was able to see them again, and then she just found out that they were abusing her all that time. The pathetic old woman begs for forgiveness. The granddaughter says that, as someone with a noble heart, she suggests that her grandmother think about what she did and ask for forgiveness from herself. She tells her grandmother to understand that there are still good people left in that mad world, and that's what she believes is the right thing to do. The old woman says that now she understands, but she should have known that no one would love an ugly old bat like her, and that's why people are always trying to take advantage of her. The granddaughter says that she's sure she will find someone who actually likes her because everyone in life has a chance to find their other half. She says that she will soon find someone who loves her for who she is and not because of her money. The grandmother thanks her granddaughter for the kind words and says that she's really sorry. She asks her granddaughter to forgive her. The granddaughter says that, of course, she will forgive her. They hug each other.